In the last video, we started to look at thirds. We looked at the concept of what a third was and also went on to simplifying some thirds. In this video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting thirds. When we're adding or subtracting thirds, it's very similar to simplifying algebraic expressions by collecting like terms. We can only add and subtract like thirds. So for example, if we had an algebraic expression that we wanted to simplify, let's say we had 2x plus y plus 3x minus 2y. We would collect like terms. So 2x plus 3x is going to give me 5x. I've got y minus 2y, and that would give us now minus y. So this is in its simplest form. We do exactly the same with thirds. With thirds, though, we can express certain thirds in simplified form. So when it looks like we can't add or subtract, we can once we break them down. So we're going to use the skills that we learned in the last video and look now at writing these expressions in their simplest form. So let's start off. Let's say I've got now 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2. We've got like thirds, root 2 and root 2. So I'm adding three lots of a quantity to four lots of a quantity. Quite clearly, we're going to get seven lots of that quantity. So it's going to be seven root two. Students often write that seven root four for some reason. It's just seven lots of root two. Let's just put this as an algebraic expression. 3x plus 4x will be equal to 7x. So nice and straightforward. We're adding now like terms. We're adding like thirds. In general, if we have root a plus root a, we end up now with 2 root a. OK, so that's, that's nice and straightforward and fairly logical. Let's look at another one. If we had 7 root 5, root 5 is a third, minus 6 root 5, it's 7 lots of a quantity minus 6 lots of a quantity, that would just leave us 1 lot of a quantity. In the same way, if I had 7y minus 6y, we would end up with y. So that's adding and subtracting like thirds. So what happens if we don't have like thirds? Let's look at a nice example right here. Let's say I've got the root of 8 plus now the root of 2. At the moment, that looks to be in its simplest form as they're not like thirds. In the last video, we looked at expressing root 8 in its simplest form. So if we uh, just recap that, we could prime factor it. So we'd have 8, 2, 4, 2, and then 2. So we could write the root of 8, and let's just write this here, the root of 8 was the root of 2 times by the root of 2 times by the root of 2, which gave us that the root of 8 was 2 root 2. So now we can see that this could be written as 2 root 2 plus now the root of 2, which is going to give us 3 root 2. So all I'm doing is using the rules that we learned in the last video to simplify these thirds to rewrite them and collect like thirds. I'm collecting like terms here, I'm collecting like thirds here. So let's look at another one, the root of 50 minus now the root of 18. So let's do the root of 50 minus the root of 18. At the moment it looks a complete mess, it doesn't seem that we can do anything with it, but let's go ahead and simplify. So the root of 50, well that's going to give me the root of 25 times by the root of 2, so we could write this now as 5 root 2. This is going to give me now 9 times by 2, so we could write this as 3 root 2. So if we have 5 root 2 minus 3 root 2, that's going to give us 2 root 2. So nice and logical, nice and straightforward. Again, I'm not expecting you just to look at that and say, oh, that's 5 root 2 and that's 3 root 2. It does take time, but if you're comfortable, you can break it down. The way that I've done that is just to say that the root of 50 is the same as the root of 25 times by the root of 2. So it's 5 root 2. The root of 18 is now the root of 9 times by the root of 2. The root of 9 is 3, so we get 3 root 2. So that's just looking now at simplifying. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have this time uh, the root of 12. So let's write the root of 12 plus now uh, 2 root 3 minus 2 root 7. And let's put this in, so 2 root 7 and then plus now 4 lots of the root of 28. And we were asked to simplify this. So let's start off now with the root of 12. 
That's two times two times three, or we could write this as two root three. So I've got two root three plus now another two root three. I've got minus two root seven. Now I can't do anything with these. Root of three and root of seven are in their simplest form. If I look at this though right here, I've got 28. Now 28 is two times two times by seven. So I could write this now as two root seven. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we look for if we had a the root of b, we could actually write this as a squared b. And again, that's sort of working it backwards. And it's not necessarily hugely important to know, but it might help you out. So what I've now got is plus, I've got four lots of this quantity. So that's going to be plus eight root of seven. So two root three plus two root three is four root three. And then we've got plus six root seven. So let's just put that on. So that now is a simplified expression. So we've collected like thirds after we simplified them. Again, nothing we can do now with the root three and the root seven. We leave it as it is. So in general, just writing it here, let's have now, if we have the root of a plus now the root of a, we end up with two root a. If we have the root of a plus now the root of b, where a and b are not equal, then we just have the root of a plus the root of b. So don't try and butcher this in any way. Don't write the root of 21 or anything crazy. Just leave it as it is. Okay, let's work through a couple more. Let's say now we had the root of 32 minus 3 root 2 uh, plus now the root of 8 minus now we'll go for the root of, let's do the root of 12 plus now the root of 27 plus 4. So let's go ahead now and simplify this. So from before we saw that this was 4 root 2. So if you want to hit pause, have a go, just simplify these. Minus now 3 root 2. We should hopefully now know that root of 8 is 2 root 2. We've got now the root of 12, which is 2 root 3. We've got now the root of 27, which would be 3 root 3. And then we've got now this rational number right here of 4. So that's just 4 units. Nothing we can do with that in terms of collecting the like terms. So I've got 4 root 2 minus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2, which is going to give me 3 root 2. So all I've done is added those up. I've got minus 2 root 3 plus 3 root 3, which is just going to be 1 lot of root 3 plus the 4. So that now is my simplified expression. Nothing more I can do with that. So that's basic addition and subtraction of thirds. So the idea is we can only now simplify if we have the, the like thirds. So you can manipulate, in, uh, manipulate them using the laws or the rules that we learned in the last video to do that.